Now let us look at look through this scenario. Now, two sides are represented by this line. This is sender and receiver. Okay, and let's say the packet is delivered. This packet is delivered, and we are assuming let's say RTO equals to 4.5 seconds. Now, 4.5 seconds is let's say this is 4.5 seconds, and this packet is one. Let's say we are giving one number to this packet, and this is may be acknowledged or not acknowledged. We don't know, but it is not reaching here because it is not reaching in this time duration. Then it will resend the packet. Let's say this is already delivered, but it is not reaching because of the huge congestion. This is reaching here at this point of time. Now, is this the RTT? This is not the actual RTT. Actually, RTT is the time to deliver the packet and then get the acknowledgement. Now, this acknowledgement is not for this first segment. This is for the first older first segment. So now, this calculation got wrong because when you get this acknowledgement, we are not sure that this acknowledgement means this one is actually the new new packet sent or the old packet sent. Is it okay? So we, this is a kind of problem. So we have a solution also, and the solution is given by Karn, and we call it Karn algorithm. So what is proposed? It is proposed whenever there is a retransmission. Now you are doing retransmission here. So whenever you do a retransmission, we will not calculate the RTT calculation. We are not doing RTT calculation. But whenever you do retransmission, retransmission will be double of the previous RTO. That means it becomes nine seconds now. Okay. And whatever you are getting, you are getting this or you are getting here, we will not consider the RTT. RTT we will not calculate. But then when we start calculating RTT, when you send any new packet, let's say packet number two, you send it. When you send new packet, at this time also, the RTO value is the same, nine seconds. When you get the acknowledgement, when you get the acknowledgement, then this is your new RTT. And then onwards, you calculate the RTO. This is the rule which we have to follow because of this kind of problem is happening. So what is the rule? The rule says, whenever you are doing retransmission, whenever you are doing retransmission, then don't calculate the RTT. But when you resend a packet, make the RTO value equal to double of the previous value. And with this value, you send all means the remaining packet. The RTT calculation will start from the new packet acknowledgement. As in this case, we send first packet, which is not acknowledged. We send again, we resend the packet. And when we get the acknowledgement, we don't calculate the RTT. But when we send a new packet, let's say number two, and this time also we keep on continuing with the older RTO value. And when we get the acknowledgement of this new packet, then onwards we calculate the RTT. And then onwards we move in this fashion. If again this is missing, we will not calculate the RTT. We just keep on moving with the same RTO. This is called Kant's algorithm.